Hi guys and welcome back to Bites and Laces, where this week I am sharing a short video on how to defeat those sleep demons. So a while ago I did a video on sleep its importance and how to get more of it. If you would like to check out that one then head to the link in the description and then pop back to this one when you're all done. In today's video we are going to have a quick chat about how you can tackle those bad nights sleep but first let me share three quick points on helping you get a better night's sleep. Tip one, set a sleep schedule. So this is simply where you make an active decision to go to bed and wake up at the same time every night and every morning. Step two, set some wind down time and turn off the technology. Ideally about 45 minutes to an hour before you actively want to go to sleep and why not pick something such as reading a book, doing some simple colouring in, or if you are going to use technology then maybe invest in getting something so that it puts a blue light filter on or check the settings on your phone to see if there's something already on there. Tip three, create the right environment. Ideally you want somewhere that's dark, quiet and quite cool. However, different people will respond differently to, well, different environments. So if you sleep better with a bit of light, then you might want it. If however you sleep better in complete pitch black, then why not invest in things that are going to help you do this? So those are three key things to help you sleep, but what do you do if you can't stay asleep? I'm going to chat to you about some of the various sleep demons that you might come up against and things that may just help you get through them. So the first one is when your brain just won't switch off. Those nights where you're lying there and you've got 20,000 thoughts just swirling around your brain and you can't make sense of them, at the same time you can't rest, get to sleep, it makes it a really really difficult night. I often find myself in this position and 9 times out of 10 I am literally staring at the ceiling, willing the voices in my head just to shut up and let me get some sleep. To tackle this particular challenge I've started actively getting myself out of bed, I will grab a notebook or a piece of paper and I will write down everything that is going on in my brain at that particular moment. Often situations like this are related to being stressed, worried or anxious about something. So taking a bit of time to write them down in a book can achieve a couple of things. The first thing it will achieve is it is starting to get those thoughts out of your head and down onto paper. By doing this you can see them in a bit of a clearer light and you can figure out a way to resolve them. The second one is that whatever you've got written on the paper you're probably not going to be able to resolve at 12 o'clock in the morning. However, you will be able to put in some plans in place that you can work on the following day. The benefit of having it written down is you're not likely to forget it because it's there in your notebook or on your piece of paper and you can grab it and take it wherever you need it. Sleep demon number two is getting comfortable. Those nights where it doesn't matter which way you lie, how many pillows you've got, you just cannot seem to get comfortable. And the more you try, the harder it gets. I don't often have as many nights like this, but I did used to. And one of the things that I found helped me was actually just getting out of bed and doing a bit of moving. So it might be that I went for a very short walk to go and grab myself a drink from the kitchen, or maybe I'd just do a very brief top to toe stretch, move the body a little bit, or a very gentle, easy, relaxing yoga session. Nine times out of 10, by the time I'd got up, moved around a bit, and then got back into bed, I found it a bit easier to get comfortable, and I could usually drift off to a nice night's sleep. Demon number three, is the temperature too hot or too cold, and you can't sleep. If the reason you can't sleep is because of the temperature, then first of all, check the temperature of the house. It might be that the heating is too hot or too cold, and for the radiator being as close as it is to the bed, it's just warming it up or it's not warming it up at all. If you're cold, you can also invest in a thicker blanket, which is more ideal for colder climates, or you could double up the blankets you've got. We've got a throw that we put on the top of our blanket if it's colder, and then the benefit is that if we then warm up and it gets a bit too warm, we can just take that out of your blanket off. So let's talk about when it's too hot. Summer is the season I dread the most because I really struggle to sleep in heat. One of the ways I've found to combat this one is I will literally take the duvet out of the duvet cover and I will just sleep with the cover on top of us. You could also invest in a fan or try sleeping with the window open depending on where you live. Usually we opt for a fan because living next to a pub in the middle of summer when they've got live music playing is not the quietest environment to try and sleep in. 
So the fourth thing that might keep you awake is noise. And depending on where you live depends on how bad the noise is going to be. There are a couple of things that you can try. If it happens that you're next to a noisy window but you've got room to manoeuvre the bed around then why not try moving it a bit further away? Or if you've got rooms you can swap around, try putting it in a different room and adjusting the layout of the house. Alternatively, you could try investing in some earplugs or something similar as they've got newer brands out on the market nowadays. Or why not try an app on your phone or a white noise machine? That way you've got a noise you can focus on which is probably a bit better than rowdy nightclub goers. So those are the four main sleep demons that you might come up against, but why not let me know in the comments if you think I've missed anything and also what it is that you struggle to sleep with and tips that you would like to share on how to deal with them. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the brand new videos coming out every single week. Okay, so this is a little side note. Now I know that when I was talking about the hot weather, people are probably going to comment saying why not just take the cover off? You're talking to the person who's watched way too many horror films and that blanket is my only form of protection against the killers who are going to come get me.